This question is about isotopes. What are isotopes? Give a definition by referring to their subatomic particles. Now this phrase subatomic particles often confuses people in exams, but really it's just talking about the protons, neutrons or electrons. They're the subatomic particles. So the answer to this question would be isotopes are different forms of the same element that have the same number of protons but different numbers of neutrons. So you get one mark for saying same number of protons and one mark for saying different numbers of neutrons. Question B, what is the relative atomic mass for an element? In other words, what does it mean? And that's a one mark question. So it's the average mass of all the isotopes for that element. Question two, this question is about the isotopes of lithium. Compare the following two isotopes of lithium by referring to their subatomic particles. And there's three marks here. So that would be one mark for talking about the protons and comparing them, one mark for comparing the numbers of neutrons, and one mark for comparing the numbers of electrons. Now, before we get into the answering of this question, I always say to my students, to make the question a lot easier, write down underneath how many neutrons, protons and electrons are in each isotope. So, first of all, the number of protons, we can see from the atomic number at the bottom that each isotope of lithium has three protons. Similarly, that also tells us the number of electrons. So each of these isotopes has three electrons. And then to get the number of neutrons, we do the mass number, take away the atomic number. So lithium-6 has three neutrons, six take away three, whereas lithium-7 has four neutrons, seven take away three. So now we've written that information somewhere on our exam paper, now we'll get into actually answering that question. So the first mark is for saying the two isotopes of lithium are similar because they both have three protons. So we're not just saying they've got the same number of protons, we're saying how many that is. Likewise, for the second mark, we're saying they are also similar because they both have three electrons. So once again, we're naming how many electrons they have. And for the third mark, we need to talk about the neutrons. So we can say they are different because they have different numbers of neutrons. One has three neutrons and the other has four. Question three, calculate the relative atomic mass for lithium. So we've got to remember the relative atomic mass is an average for all isotopes of lithium. So it's going to be a number that is somewhere between six and seven. And in the question, they will always give you the percentage abundance. And for lithium, it tells us in the question that for lithium six, the one with the mass number six, there's an abundance of 7.6%. So 7.6% of a sample of lithium is that type. And there's 92.4% of lithium seven with the mass number seven. So this is how we work it out. We do 7.6%, so that's 7.6 divided by 100 times the mass number, which is six, and that comes to 0 0.456. And then we do 92.4%, so that's 92.4 divided by 100 times the mass number, which is seven, and that's 6.468. We then need to add those two numbers together and that comes to 6.924. So we do a common sense check then. First of all, is it between six and seven? Yes, and it should be nearer to seven because most of the sample of lithium, 92.4% of it is lithium seven. So it should be nearer to that number. If you found this video useful, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe so that you get notifications of similar videos. Thank you for watching.